when I did uh, the first uh, Greylog um, video, which was about the introduction of it, I have uh, promised you that I'm going to do um, quite a lot of uh, tutorials for Greylog. So we have covered the installation for a small environment. Then um, we did the installation of uh, Greylog on two different servers, one Greylog and one Elasticsearch. Then uh, I have shown you how to um, create um, a cluster of servers, Greylock servers and Elasticsearch servers. And now I will have to show you how you can send uh, logs or data from different systems. Like Windows, Linux and networking devices. And after this video, we will going to tackle the dashboards, the alerts, also the rock extractors, pipelines and lookup tables. Taking a look at um, our uh, diagram, there are um, some new things that I would like to explain you. There is right now a load balancer here in front of the Greylock servers. Uh, the first server of Greylog is the master. And this one will not uh, be used for uh, processing logs. We will going to use only server 2 and 3 for that. The master is only dedicated for uh, cluster maintenance, for rotating the indices and, um, and serve as a main web server for the users that uh, will going to connect to the Greylock cluster. Right now I have a virtual Cisco ASA device on uh, ASA firewall that will uh, send syslog messages to the load balancer. Uh, the virtual IP on the load balancer is that um, 139. These syslog messages will gonna be sent uh, on port 514 and uh, it will be redirected to the Greylock servers on port um, 1514. Going to our uh, Greylock cluster, ah, we have an alert here which says that um, there is um, a node without any running inputs. So we have no, uh, no inputs configured here. For this one, we will have to go to system and then uh, we can choose inputs. And we could select uh, syslog UDP, but there are some issues uh, with uh, this plugin from time to time, so I will reuse um, raw plain text UDP input for our um, ASA bugs. Because we have a cluster, we can click global that all nodes should start uh, this input. And here we can put our title and we can choose something like um, ASA firewall logs. And then we can um, uh, define our port. But um, to see what exactly will happen if you're going to put um, a port uh, below 1024 or 1024, let's leave it to the default. And I'm going to click on save. And let's start the input. And you can see that the input doesn't start. And this is what will going to happen if you're going to use a port below or equal to 1024. Your inputs will not going to start. 
let's edit the input again and put here one five one four click save and if we were gonna start the input you can see that right now it's running so let's see if we were gonna have some kind of um, messages coming to our Parallax servers let's refresh it and yeah you can see the messages coming in the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to send uh, syslog messages from um, a Linux server to Greylog and for this one I will uh, set up um, the first Greylog server, Greylog1 to send syslog messages to the virtual IP address for the cluster and those messages will be directed to Greylog2 and 3 not to Greylog1 so let's do that, we can do um, first we will need to install uh, the our syslog application then we will have to go for the configuration file in Etsy and here we will just gonna modify a few parameters like um, deleting the hashtag in front of uh, mod load and then the UDP server run we can put here for example 2514 just to use a different port we will not gonna use uh, TCP syslog then we will need to add our destination Uh, here for the remote host we were gonna delete the hashtag in front of it and let's put our virtual IP address here then The destination port will be 2514 and let's save the file we will have to restart the um, RC's log service right now Let's check the status of it. As you can see, it's running fine. Then we will have to go in uh, Greylog and create uh, the input. So you need to go to System and then Input as before. Let's select this time uh, Syslog UDP input. Again, we need to make it global, then title, um, let's name it to Linux syslog. The port to 514. And save. Right now we will start it. For some reason, only two are running, 
and the others don't. And this one most probably happens because um, the first Greylock server is uh, sending the messages and somehow it creates probably some kind of loop and that might be the problem that um, we are facing right now and as I said first Greylock failed so yeah this is this is one of the reason but the other two are working and we should um, be able to see the messages so let's click on show receipt messages and as you can see everything uh, is working fine here however if we would have used um, a different server and uh, not one of the Greylock servers uh, to send messages then we wouldn't have uh, gotten the previous error in this video we have um, seen how you can um, send messages from um, a network device like um, as a firewall and uh, a Linux server using syslog and what options you have uh, to configure your Greylog. In the next video I'm going to show you how you can uh, send uh, Windows events using NX log and probably we can also try to do a netflow from a cisco router so netflow from um, cisco router Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.